Good morning, friends, and welcome to Friday, April 23rd. Our devotions from the Upper the Room Discipline, written by Bradley Bunn. And our scripture this morning is 1 John 3, 19-24. And by this we will know that we are from the truth and will reassure our hearts before him. Whenever our hearts condemn us, for God is greater than our hearts, and he knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have boldness before God. And we receive from him whatever we ask, because we obey his commandments and do what pleases him. And this is his commandment, that we should believe in the name of the Son of Jesus Christ and love one another just as he has commanded us. And all who obey his commandments abide in him, and he abides in them. And by this we will, they will know that he abides in us by the spirit that he has given us. Word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. So what does it mean to believe? Recently, the author was asked that question at a Bible study. At first, there was an awkward silence and trepidation among the group, but eventually someone chimed in, Belief has to do with the things that I hold dear in my heart. The author appreciated her answer, and it struck a chord with him as he reflected on the things, people, ideas, and places that mattered most to him. As he read John's words, If our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence before God and receive from him anything we ask, because we obey his commands and do what pleases him. The author thinks of parishioners who have shared their stories of unanswered prayers with him, and he sympathizes with them as they recounted their bewilderment. From all accounts, those faithful persons loved Jesus, loved others, and yet their prayers went unanswered. So. How could they continue to have confidence in praying to God? How could they continue to believe? Well, John believes that if we obey Jesus' commands, we will have his assurance and presence living in us. God, through Jesus Christ, does not turn away from the predicament of being human with all its limitations and its dreams and desires. God knows the pitfalls and the stumbling blocks that we encounter. If belief is entrusting what matters most to us in this life, shouldn't we be able to let go of our fears and uncertainties, trusting that the things that matter most to us also matter to God? Holding on to things tends to bring forth anxiety and bondage. The shepherd who adores each of his sheep wants us to experience freedom from that bondage. We can always trust God to guide us through the challenging terrain of our heart's desires. Let us pray. O oh God, the shepherd of our hearts, help us to rely on your promises of love, acceptance, and of hope. Amen. Enjoy this weekend. Amen.